Chicago Bears fans, you got the Cognac Boys back with another voicemail back episode. Today, we dive into some of these mailbag, I mean some of these voicemails, and we're going to get busy. Y'all already know. You got to hear the music, hey? Now <laughs> tuned in to Chicago Bears Central, your number one place for all Chicago Bears news and content. All right, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Chicago Bear Central. You got the Cognac Boys today. I'm Bobby. That's C Dub. How you doing, my guy? I'm feeling great, man. I can't wait to hear what the what the crew talking about, man. What y'all talking about out there? Man, right off the top. If, if y'all like what y'all listening to, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. You can find me and Unc on all social media platforms at Cognac Boys. And if you want to follow the show collectively, go ahead and do your thing at Shy Bear Central on all social media platforms. But hey, Unc, it, 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 it's, it's, it's a few people that have been talking that, that's, that, that's kind of overreacting to Chase Claypool a little bit. So I'm going to just keep it real brief and say, y'all, let's pump our brakes. We understand there's some news that came out. Look, we heard the same exact stuff last offseason with Tevin Jenkins, and then he what did he end up being? A yeah. starter and one of the best offensive linemen we got. Pump the brakes. Okay? Pump the long brakes, bro. <laughs> but now we jump into the mailbag because y'all already know Saturdays is dedicated to the fans. So if you want to be a part of mailbag episodes on Friday or Saturday, call in. But first up. We got my man, Maurice Assad, with the voicemail. Here it is. Bobby, C Dub, hey, what's happening, fellas? It's your man, Maurice Assad, coming black at you once again, man, talking about them Bears. Yeah, it is. Listen, man, today we talking about that Bears defensive line. Listen, man, last year, that defensive line couldn't stop my mama. If she was running for the Detroit Lions, you hear me? They couldn't tackle nobody. So that caused them to be in a lot of long, third and long situations, man, and they couldn't stop water from closing out the faucet. You hear me? But this year, <laughs> this year is something different. Now, they got the big boys up front, man. Javon Dexter is here. Andrew Billings is here. They're going to be like the brand new Keith Trailer and Ted Washington. Ooh. They shutting everything down up front. Ain't going to be no running back getting over 50 yards in the game for the Chicago Bears. You hear me? That law firm of Edmonds and Edwards going to be down there to shut them out, man, because of that front. They're going to clean up everything in the back. You hear them linebackers, man, because of that front. You hear me? And listen, man, I'm going to tell you one more thing, man. You know what I'm saying? Walker and Gibson going to get double digit sacks this year. Mm. Walker Damn. and Gibson getting double-digit sacks this year. Gibson in a contract year. He's coming out balling. You hear me? He want to get paid. And Walker is a leader on the field. And listen, I'm going to tell you another one now. Harold Lewis. Harold Lewis, look out for the boy. He's going to be tremendous on that defensive line. You hear what I'm saying? So Chicago Bears, baby, that defensive front line, baby, we're going to shut it down this year. When we stop the run, it's going to be a lot of third and eight for them offenses, and they ain't going to be able to handle the heat that we bring in on third down. Chicago Bears defense going to be ranked top 10 in the NFL this year. You hear what I'm saying? Listen, man, I got to get up out of here. It's your man, my reaper. You know what I'm saying? I got people to do and places to see. You feel me? So listen, I got to get up out of here, man. So I'm going to say one more thing, man. Chicago up and bear down. You know what I'm saying? Super Bears. Super Bowl. Yes, oh, bro. yes oh, sir. Bro. That's the voicemail from Yo. Maurice Assad. Just got it us litty like a titty and is busting. Man, I'm hyped up. But, hey, you need to go ahead and be the hype man. Go ahead and get us right, baby. Maurice, bro, you go got ahead me and the react vibe. to the voicemail, baby. Maurice, bro, <laughs> bro. You got me feeling the vibe, bro. I don't even want this chair, bro. I want to stand up and talk, bro. <laughs> you got me energized right now, bro. And I know what you're saying. We got better on first and second down, bro, with the defensive line. And it's going to make it easier for them pass rushers to get to the quarterback. You are right. We got some big kahunas on that line. And um, and Zach, Zach Pickens and, 
and Jer- what's the other Gervais? What's his name? The other one Javon for Javon Dexter. Guy. Javon <laughs> Dexter. I forgot he got me so pumped. Javon Dexter and, and and the guy uh Lewis coming off the edge. And then you don't forget about Sewell. Don't forget about Gibson. Don't forget about Walker. I love your enthusiasm, boy. And then you brought up Ted Washington and track the trailer. That was like a thousand pounds of two men right there in the middle of the line, bro. <laughs> They shut down first and second down. I rock with Maurice, bro. You got me turned, bro. Ooh, bear down. <laughs> Chicago up and bear down. Y'all already know. But, man, I think that something big that he did is that he put it out there that uh, Walker and Gibson will have double-digit sacks. I think it's very, very possible. Uh, I think Walker... I'm more sold on Walker than Gibson, in my personal opinion. I respect Maurice for where he came from to where he said why Gibson would go ahead and get double-digit sacks. So my question for you is, who do you believe will have – who will reach double digits first, Walker or Gibson? And you can, you got to pick between the two. Give me the vet. Give me Walker. I'm going to go Walker. They both vets. <laughs> Walker the, 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 the longest. The, 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 the vet vet. <laughs> he the he vet, vet, vet. vet. Oh, man, Walker. That's who I'm going to put it on. But I think the team, the, the overall, the defensive line for sure will be much improved. With, and, and then the pass coverages in the middle will definitely improve because of the linebackers like he also mentioned. So, man, I swear to Bob, bro, I feel like – Send another one in oh, <laughs> Friday bro, let's night. Go, let, let's go play tag. Let's go play tackle killer man or something, bro. bro he got real. me turned up, bro. Man, hey, but do you, you believe the Bears got better on first and second down, though? Agree. Sure. I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. Ooh. They definitely put themselves in better position, you know, after each down because how they can be able to, you know, get penetration up front. I think that's going to be much improved. And then pass coverage. You got one of the, the best, uh, covering linebackers in the league in Edmonds right up the middle and he has the size and then you got one of the best closing guys TJ Edwards and then you got an instinctual guy in Jack Sanborn on the other side so they should be good oh bro and shout out to Mark man look man I'm turned bro I'm turned turned somebody hey the name, hey he just set the bar high nephew he definitely the did next but person I, better not be dry they better not be dry no, nah, I got my guy from Mississippi, oh, Mr. No. Al. Mr. <laughs> Al, come on with it. Here's your voicemail, my guy. Hey, there, this is Al from Mississippi. I called yesterday, and my gold darn dog started barking, waking up my grandkids. I had to go give her a talking to, but, uh, yeah, what I was starting to say was, love your show. Been a big fan for a couple months now since I discovered you, and I discovered that Harrison G. Ram is a damn Chiefs fan. I feel betrayed. This must be what it feels like to catch a bitch cheating on you. But anyway, I got a non-bear specific related question. I'm going to rattle off a couple of names for you. Travis Kelsey, Rob Gronkowski, Cole Komet, uh, Robert Tanya. What do those boys have in common? Big, white boys that can catch the football. A few more names for you. Uh, Cooper Cup, Wes Welker, Julian Edelman. What do those guys have in common? Little white boys that can catch the football. What I want to know from you boys is, what do you think it is why there's no regular size white boys catching the football out there? All right, I'm going to hang up and listen now. So, uh, Chicago up, bear down. I love, man, I just love when y'all say that. First and foremost, shout out to you, Al, and uh, uh, for supporting the channel, man. Look, just like you said, bro, they either big or they small. There's no in between. And then when it comes to black wide receivers or pass catchers, they either medium size or big. There's no small guys running slot, really. <laughs> That's just the makeup of how we are genetically, I guess, or the talent that we bring into the NFL. That's just what it is. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really answer the question, but I do know that the tight ends, yeah. Yeah, y- y'all be putting out some white boys that's pretty damn cold. I ain't gonna hold bro, you because they like y'all to put eat. out white boys that cold on bro. Be, that, it's be. probably all that goddamn farming y'all be doing. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, <bro. laughs> I don't know, bro. I think it's the diet or something, bro. I don't know, bro. Y'all ever had some chitlins or something, Joe? Down there, Joe. 
They eat chitterling. <laughs> they eat chitterling down there. <laughs> I fuck with bro though. He like man, them white boy. <laughs> hey, shout out, <laughs> shout out to Al. Hey, shout out to Al. My grandmother man. on my daddy's side. She from Mississippi. She just migrated up to sh- Chicago, and that's how my daddy got there. <laughs> you know, bro. Bro. So it's Boston. Oh, that's they why our know. name country is hell. Hey, Bobby, come here, Bobby. Hey, Bobby hey. Earl. Hey, Al, what about Tom Waddle? He was medium. <laughs> <laughs> he was medium. <laughs> That's funny. I'm with it, though. He was medium, though. He was medium. Y'all, I mean, y'all got a couple mediums in there. What about Alec Pierce? I know he yeah. fresh, on the, he yeah. fresh on the scene with Indianapolis Coast, but he fresh on the scene. He kind of medium. Oh, What's man. buddy from the, from, the, from the cheese heads? Jordy Nelson, bro. He was medium. Yeah, Joe. Y'all Joe, putting a couple out about. there. Al, yeah. y'all putting a couple out there. But the point is, is that, hey, tight end university, y'all definitely produced some good white boys out of that. Can't lie. On the real. Oh, y'all bro. definitely got them right there. For real, though. But I just like all talent, man. For real. I, like all I hope that answered your question, Al. That hey, was a, bro, a good, fun question. Eventually, to y'all come around, bro. It, I mean, it ain't really. I mean, I don't know what to say about that shit, bro. But start eating <laughs> greens and shit. That's all I say. He talking about eat your greens. <laughs> <laughs> Stop I being vegans and shit. Stop eating soy. No, <laughs> they, we just told, bro. We just, I just literally said it. They be out there farming. They be in there smacking the pigs on the bucks. Who cares? That's the tight ends. <laughs> they be too well on the big putting refrigerators on their back and shit. Suke, suke. <laughs> bop, 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 bop. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Before we move on to the last voicemail, I seen the worst TikTok. I, <laughs> I seen the worst TikTok I ever seen. It was this this white lady. She was she was doing her pig call. At a pig calling competition. Does that go on down there in Mississippi? Down there, all the way down there, <laughs> Mississippi. Ah, talking like that remind me of Martin on that episode when he was talking like that. Oh, bro. <laughs> all you was talking about when he was the agent, though. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> but hey, we back on track, man. Yeah. Hey, Al, you see how how much fun you just brought out of us with that question? That was a oh, great bro. question, man. Y'all Shout killing it today. Al, and we do this for y'all, man, for real. Final one. Y'all already know what world we about to enter. King Booker World! Booker! This the voicemail from Book. Bobby, she dub This Book, King Booker World. Blessings to you and yours, man. Hope y'all doing well. I just want to uh, just talk about something I've noticed, man, about, uh, about our QB1, Justin Fields. You notice now how, you know, everybody keeps talking about how, you know, he needs to improve and this, he needs to do this, he needs to do that, or he can't do this, or he can't do that. You know, I think he's one of the most scrutinized players in the whole NFL right now to be so young. But you notice his poise, man. You notice he doesn't respond. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't feed into it. He's not on, on those social media posting like just watch and see or none of that. He's just quiet. You know what I'm saying? He's just very, very quiet. He ain't saying nothing. You know what they say, man, about the calm before the storm. I have a feeling, man. I have a feeling that Justin Fields is about to show out. I got a feeling that he's about to put the league on notice. And I got a feeling in some time in the future, that man will be raising a Lombardi trophy. That's so all I wanted to say. Chicago up, bear down. I'll holler at y'all later. Book! You know how we rocking, my guy. Before we answer, I got to go ahead and return the favor. Just like you always send that love to us, we're going to send it right back, man. Blessings to you and your family as well. You always call in, saying blessings to us and our family. Hope we doing well. Hope we have a good weekend. Hope we having good holidays. So, my guy, I hope you doing well, too. For real. Now, Unk, go ahead and react to Book. Bro, shout out to Book because he always come with the fire. First, I want to talk about the poise from Justin Fields. I'll just point to the one situation, his first situation in the NFL, when he played the Cleveland Browns, when he got absolutely destroyed. I think he got sacked 10 times, 9 or 10 times. Did you see him throwing? 
a helmet? Do you see him on the sideline pissed off or anything like that? I was like, wow, this kid, he should be going crazy. He should be snapping on people, Joe. He didn't do anything. Look at the, the last season just, just passed. When it was bad times out there on the, on the field, Justin Fields wasn't out there complaining, arguing with the offensive coordinator, uh, arguing with his teammates. He was real calm and mellow. You would see him do a, a, a good thing the next play. And he, yeah, teammate, this is my teammates. He celebrate on touchdowns. This guy is a leader. I believe everything that you said in this, in this uh, mailbag. And he said a Lombardi trophy. He do that for Chicago. My dick a who? <laughs> That's funny. But uh I'm all on I'm all on the same thing for real. And Unc, you laid that out perfectly. The man, he was even killed. When I talk, when I come over, I just come at home. I come here behind a mic and just say be even killed. This man was getting his head beat in by the yeah. Cleveland Browns and was chilling. Chilling. What chilling? Oh, <laughs> and, no. then, and then this past season, he said, oh, okay, y'all still ain't going to block for me. Watch this. Went on to get a 11, uh, over 1,100 yards rushing. And oh, uh, the last eight weeks, I think he was top four in QBR. Yep. He was definitely on pace to break the rushing record. He was – he the Bears were scoring over 30 points per game. Yep. Forcing the Miami Dolphins head coach – well, he didn't force him, but made the Miami uh, Dolphins head coach be like, bro, can you just stop? Can you oh, just bro. stop? That says enough about him. Getting compliments from Eagles players who went on to yep. compete for a Super Bowl. Getting recognition from the Buffalo Bills. Man, you can't say enough about Justin Field. The guy mentality is cool, calm, and collective, and he just going to put his damn head down. He going to go to work. That's what I love to see. And please, please, bro, if the Chicago Bears win a championship. Oh, just just let it marinate. Uh, let it bro. marinate for a second, nephew. Say that shit again. One more time. If the Chicago Bears win a championship, oh my God. It's gonna be one of the best days of my life. I ain't gonna lie bro, to you. Don't argue know. with me, argue with your mama. It's gonna be a great day. In 06, I cried when we lost. I'm going to cry when we I win. Fuck it. I don't care. Don't, bro. I'm going to be ah, ugly. Right. Just let me, ugly. Tell, let's let me tell my job, Joe, before. If it happens, I'm not Joe, coming to work. forget about it. I might not even call, bro. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I might not even call y'all. Joe, forgive me, bro. Forgive my me. wife, my wife, my kids going to be like, Dad, you doing too much. <laughs> I ain't doing enough. Hell, y'all talking about it. My, my wife and kids saw me and my reaction in 2018 with the double doink because Cody Parkey, bogus as hell, oh. I went ballistic. Came out of oh. the room was like, you need to calm down. I don't need to do that! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I told some shit up in my living room. I ain't going to lie. It was raps. It was so, a rap. But we supporting Justin Fields. I believe he finishes top three in MVP voting this season. Nephew. He won't win it. Stephen he won't nephew. win it. But Stephen he will nephew. be top three in voting. Bro, Whoa. he got a vote last year, and we he was did. terrible. Yep, he did. <laughs> top three in voting this year, bro. Oh. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all know the bold predictions can start coming, too, so send them in. Oh, bro, let's send go. them in. Unc, you got anything else, man? That's it from us. Hey, bro, this has been lit. Y'all lit today, bro. We need, hey, how y'all going to top this, bro? <laughs> we had energy, we had humor, we had some 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 motivation from my man uh Buka. Yo, y'all better step y'all game up, bro. They killed it. All right. If y'all want to be a part of something great like this and continue to support the channel and have your voices heard, go ahead and call in and leave a voicemail 773-242-9336. Have your voice heard on these mailbags. If it don't get paid on a fr played on a Friday, it will get played on a Saturday. Yep. And we're going to talk about it. We're going to discuss it. We're going to laugh. We're going to kick it. We're going to whatever. But y'all already know, man, that's it from the Cognac Boys. Y'all want more from us and uh, the contributors to this channel like Hayes. 
Go ahead and follow us all collectively at Shy Bears Central on all social media platforms. Any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and send them in at Chicago Bear Central at gmail.com. And again, if you want to be a part of the mailbag, send your stuff in at 773-242-9336. This is another episode of Chicago Bear Central. I'm Bobby with C Dub. We gonna catch y'all on the next one. Top three nephew. Oh, bro, let's go. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. 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 Media.